फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट सर वी वर एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट दिस बिल विच इज बिफोर अस एंड विच हैज बीन पास्ड बाय राज्यसभा वुड डील विद सम ऑफ द वाइटल इशूज दैट आर एजिटेटिंग द माइंड्स ऑफ द पीपल एंड देयर लिविंग कंडीशंस ऑल्सो बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली इट डज नॉट डू सो द रियलिटी इज दैट इन द ओरिजिनल एक्ट ऑफ 1955 वी हैव अबाउट 13 कैटेगरीज ऑफ इसेंशियल कमोडिटीज इंक्लूडिंग कैटल फोडर कोल ऑटोमोबाइल पार्ट्स कॉटन हूल टेक्सटाइल्स रो कॉटन रो जूट ड्रग्स फूड ग्रेन्स आयरन ओर पेट्रोलियम एंड पेट्रोलियम प्रोडक्ट्स शुगर एंड शुगर केन बट दिस बिल टच इज ओनली अ फ्यू थिंग्स हेयर द वाइटल एस्पेक्ट्स आर नॉट इवन टचड अप देयर इज नो स्टेटमेंट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड रीजन्स अपेंडिड विद द बिल सो दैट वी कैन ग्रास्प द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस एज फार एज दिस बिल इज कंसर्न इट डील्स विद सम फॉर्मेलिटी एंड टेक्निकल मैटर्स ओनली वेन वी टच अपॉन दिस सब्जेक्ट वी नो दैट देयर आर थ्री एस्पेक्ट्स विच आर इम्पोर्टेंट सच एज प्रोडक्शन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एंड प्राइस विद रिगार्ड टू प्रोडक्शन द होल कंट्री नोज दैट देयर हैज बीन अ बंपर क्रोप of food grains and we are patting ourselves on the back for that besides that there have been huge imports with regard to groundnut also the minister has been declaring that there has been a bumper crop of 80 lakh tons and it comes to about 40% more than the last year's production here we have just now heard that the national textile corporation is playing its part in stepping production and making the sick and deserted units viable ones in such a situation when there is production on such a huge scale what is the factor that is hindering the proper distribution and check on price rise in our country i would like to ask in view of the fact that the production in the public sector is growing even the national textile corporation with six mills most of them dead mills is growing i would like to know about role of the private sector in the matter of textiles we have been hearing that the private sector is resorting to lock outs and even retrenchment is the government of india aware of the fact that the monopolies in our country are resorting to a policy of increasing profits by raising prices after reducing production so their policy is anti national they reduce production and increase profit by raising the prices in regard to production we fear that we may again be in a mess we have not been able to control lockouts etc and in regard to the production of ground nuts cotton and jute there is an oversupply the jute mills are crying that their products have not been taken up in such a situation this would hamper production next year when the real producers are not getting impetus whether they produce food grains edible oils jute sugarcane cotton or oil seeds the danger is that they will not get adequate encouragement 
and the production may not go on steadily increasing as it did this year as such one would expect that the government would consider the fact that the jute mills are not doing justice to jute production its growers or even to its marketing they are depending entirely upon the government they are not reducing the price of jute goods when the price of jute has gone down naturally we expect that the prices of jute goods will be less but they are not cheaper there is a crisis in the jute market but the prices of finished goods are where they were they are also slightly costlier in some respects in such a situation the production policy of the private sector is not helping the cause of the industry itself much less to talk of that of the producers or consumers and the same thing applies to sugar mills and to cotton mills in private hands one would feel that the time has come when the government should take up courage to nationalize at least jute cotton and sugar mills in order to be in a stronger position and to have a strong hand over production and to have a steady increase in production in order to have proper distribution and reasonable prices then comes the question of distribution with regard to this our government feels very helpless the minister has indicated that the traders were reconciled to the emergency and were waiting on their wings to exploit the situation when the opportunity arose the opportunity was the delay in onset of the monsoon by 3 weeks which led them to holding and black marketing he is saying in a helpless manner that some delay in the onset of the monsoon allowed them to resort to holding and black marketing therefore they are committing these crimes at a time when there is a national emergency when the government has more than adequate powers to control them there should be a panel to deal with compilation of production data and identifying trends of significance and advising the government in time of need stop